Hello, it's Polish Paul VR. Welcome to the channel. It's this time of the month again. It's time to check out which brand new PlayStation VR 2 games we're going to play in October because we're doing all known October 2023 PSVR 2 releases. With that out of the way, let's get started. On October 3rd, just next week, Walls of the Wizards PlayStation VR 2 version will be out with you. This is a game that many of you probably know from the original release on PlayStation VR 1. Eventually the developer stopped supporting it because of how PSVR 1 player base dwindled, but now they back with brand new PSVR 2 version. Speaking of PSVR 2 version, next week on October 3rd we getting Pixel Rip 1995 and this is going to be a free update for those of you who own Pixel Rip 1995. Otherwise the game will cost you 1590 no 1999 to buy. A very nice throwback to the gold old nostalgia days, just like all the Pixel Rip games do. For those of you who own Galaxy Card, finally you're getting a cool update with some cool environments. Also, what's happening with this game is they adding the possibility of using the steering wheel combined with the VR Sense controllers, which is pretty cool. The game released maybe not to the great reviews, but definitely you have to give credit to the developer for working hard on it to make it better for those of you who own it. On the 5th of October as well we get in Ghost Signal, a Stellaris game which is a very epic space adventure with rogue-like elements which uh, definitely to me I stop playing rogue-likes now because this is a genre that's getting very saturated on the PSVR 1 and 2 now uh, but some of you might enjoy it, got good reviews on other platforms that it was out. Another update for Pixel Whip coming to your headsets. This is Elixir of Madness. And this one will be with, with, with you on October 5th as well. And a really cool release that I'm excited for, and I definitely gonna play it, is original Red Matter for PlayStation VR 2, releasing on October 5th. Some of you said in the comment section why would they do Red Matter 1 after Red Matter 2? The answer is simple, Red Matter 2 needed to be released on PSVR 2 for the people to play and enjoy it uh, as soon as possible, and then they took their time on updating Red Matter 1 and this is a free upgrade, definitely looking forward to that one. Another update, this is Angry Birds Isle of Pigs, this is gonna be I think 499 for existing owners, uh, if you don't own it it's gonna be the regular price but the level editor will be here finally and some other updates that didn't make its way to PlayStation VR 1 original game, it's all happening in this one. Uh, Angry Birds eventually, eventually <laughs> back in the day it was very popular title, eventually it's kind of uh, popularity maybe slow down but still many people playing it. Uh, this one is October 10th. I autism friendly PlayStation VR 2 game releasing on October 10th. Uh, I don't think we ever had autism friendly game on any, any VR headset. I don't know, I can't remember. But anyway, this is, you see it in the background, a cute little cartoonish looking game, which means uh, I'm gonna try to probably stay away from that one. But anyway, this is Blink and the Vacuum of Space. Okay, and the one I'm uh, quite looking forward to, a tennis game in VR, uh, only because we don't have tennis game on PSVR 2 just yet. This one looks quite polished. This is Tennis on Court. They actually brought the release date a few days forward, so now this game will release on October 17th. If you like sports games and you want more in VR and you want something realistic, I mean, I said we don't have tennis game. I know, I mean, I know you got Sysmash VRS, but I mean, tennis like human, you know, playing it. Uh, then you've got Tennis on Court. A big one and a classic one. Some of you remember original, some of you can't care less <laughs> about the original. But anyway, this is the seventh guest coming to PlayStation VR 2 on 17th of 
October. They uh, use this technique when they project in actual uh, videos on the meshes, uh, so it looks quite realistic. Um, um, well, I'm gonna definitely check it out. It was one of the first CD-ROM games back in the day, blowing people's minds, and now in VR I'm sure it's going to be great. They adapted it all, so they changed some puzzles and everything, but they trying to stay close to the original as well. But Dreams VR is out on PlayStation VR 1, people playing it, I think, I don't know, I don't know how many people still playing PS VR 1, but anyway, it's out down there for people to play. But of course, most of people now probably uses their PS VR 2. And this horror title uh, coming out on October 24th. It's a Halloween season at the end of the month, well, maybe even now, I don't know. On October 24th, probably the biggest release of the month. A very good title, nicely polished games, getting brand new features for PS VR 2 and brand new updates for PC version as well. But this is Vertigo 2. The developer definitely took their time and give it all for this game. Uh, crazy to think that solo developer can make a game like that, but yet you get some bigger studios who serve us with shit in face. <laughs> so yeah, very nice release. I'm definitely looking forward to it. Once you complete the game, you can play with different skills and characters. So a lot of playability, great design levels, great weapons, looking good. The game that I'm really looking forward to and the game that PSVR 2 definitely needs. So shout out to the studio and shout out to Perb Games to make it possible on PlayStation VR 2. Hats and pants off to you. Let me know in the comments how excited you are for Vertigo 2. But another title and another big one, another one I want to check out is Journey to the Foundation from the developer Archeact. They released some cool title. Um, I remember Freediver I really liked, even though PSVR 1 kind of got the quest version, but of course that shouldn't be the issue for PSVR 2. So it's better looks, better than Quest version, because uh, you know this is the one, one of those games that releases on all the platforms. Um, and sometimes when you get Quest games, uh, they kind of making uh, quality lower, but this generation, developers don't get away with it. As Green Hell VR and Hell Hellsweeper VR found out when people decided to voice their concerns and maybe not even buy the game. And same story goes for Ghostbusters VR, which is gonna be with you on 26th. If you want to do some co-op ghost catching, then Phasmophobia is coming as well. <laughs> so that's cool. But also you'll be able to play Ghostbusters VR, hopefully with a cross-play. Uh, so coming from the developer and dreams, they kind of know what they're doing. They always like publishing a really cool games. Of course, uh, the one uh, we know now, the very cool Synapse, uh, but Ghostbusters is next. Another one I'm really looking forward to, Coming on October 27th, another game that the release date kind of go brought forward. And this is Happy Funland. You go into this creepy uh, Luna Park, Luna Park, you know, amusement park, whatever you want to call it. And it is creepy and you're going on the right. The trailer kind of doesn't show what this game, how good it looks like, but the little clips, what the developers been publishing on their socials, they definitely giving the game just justice. A very nice looking title. Looking forward to it. On October 31st, Foglands coming out, and this is lately got announced as the game that is gonna be on PS5 flat as well. See, we've been told, I don't know, about those hybrid titles. We don't see many of them, but Foglands is one of them. So I do hope that we're gonna see more hybrid titles on PSVR 2. And I must say, Foglands looks pretty good as well, as long as they don't get too much roguelike in my likings. Okay, the game we don't have release date, but the game that the developer said is gonna be here in October is Phasmophobia. A game that many people is hyped for, one of the biggest releases of this October uh, and a very cool release uh, as well on PC, very popular but finally is coming to consoles. This is a ghost hunting game. You can play by yourself, uh, but also the uh, main catch of this game is being able to play the co-op. 
and also what we get in is puzzling places monthly pack don't know when uh, but probably at some point at the beginning of month sometimes they get slightly delayed uh, a game that i spend in uh, more time than i expected it's pretty nicely neatly put together and another game uh, update that it's gonna be in october of course probably last thursday of october is GT7 October update. We just got brand new September update with three new cars and new menus and scapes. And now uh, in October we see what we gonna get. I'm still waiting for this Jacques Villeneuve circuit, what apparently is somewhere in the game files because somebody found it. So those are your October releases. Some big hitters definitely, some cool games as well. Some, you know, not great stuff, but it's always a mix of everything. But let me know in the comment section which game you're looking forward to, which one you definitely pick up. Uh, from me, that's it. Bye, 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 bye.